Hello, welcome to this video on image formation by a concave mirror. This is part three of our series of image formation videos by a concave mirror. And in this part, in this video, we're going to be talking about the image formed when our object is beyond F, the focal point. So by our object being beyond F, what we mean is that the object is closer to to the mirror than F. So we're interested in when the object, again our our arrow, is closer to the mirror than than the focal point. So again, let's label the the top of the arrow P and the bottom of the arrow Q. And as in the previous videos, the, the way we're going to find out wh where the image is formed is by following the same, exactly the same rules as before. So let's draw a ray from the top of the arrow that, that is parallel to the optical axis, like this. And of course you know that such a ray will reflect off the concave mirror and pass through the focal point F like this. Now we need to draw another light ray to work out uh, where the image will form and its properties. So the the easiest ray to draw in is a ray that is a ray that uh, moves from the tip to the arrow like this, but appears to have come from the focal point. So what I mean is, if I draw in some dashed lines like this, let's say our ray moves in this direction, as though it's come from the the focal point and hits the mirror like that. Now we know that light rays that move through the focal point and reflect off the mirror, they reflect they reflect in such a way that they move they move parallel to the optical axis. So let's draw let's draw a reflected ray parallel to the optical axis like this. Okay. Now, notice that these reflected rays that I that I've drawn in, so this one here and this one here, notice that there's a difference between what we're looking at here compared to the first two videos, so parts one and part two, where our object was beyond C or between C and F. Notice here our reflected rays appear to be well they are they are they are getting further away from each other so they are not meeting they are diverging however if we extend back these rays like this it appears as though these rays have come from this point where these extended lines meet. So w what we mean by that is remember remember there is always there is a, an observer here. There's somebody there's somebody looking at what's going on here. And to the brain of this person, okay, so this is the this is the eye of the observer, when these light rays reach um, the eye and 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 ultimately the the person's brain is trying to figure out what's going on. The person br the person's brain thinks that these rays of light have come from this point over here. So the person interprets an image forming at this point here. This is where the image of the top or the tip of the arrow has formed.
So let's draw in the tip of our arrow there. So this is the tip of the image. And let's call that P prime. And this of course is where is is the image of the bottom of the arrow. So let's call that Q. Q prime. So let's discuss some properties of this image here. We'll see that there are some differences between the images we've discussed previously in the first two parts of this series of um, image formation videos. So notice that the image here is, is pointing up. Okay, so just like the, just like our object here, okay, which uh, which is an an arrow pointing up, so is the so is the image. Okay, so our image we say it is upright. Recall that in our previous videos, of uh, on where we discussed image formation by a concave mirror. When when the object was beyond C and between C and F, the image formed was upside down or inverted. So you may recall that then the image arrow formed was pointing down. Now, if you look at the size of this arrow here, it's clearly bigger than the size of this um, our our object arrow here. So. Our image has been magnified is magnified, we say. Okay, it has a bigger size than than the than the object. Finally, because because the our light rays, our reflected light rays only appear to be coming from here this image is not real. We say that this image is a virtual image. So there is a difference between virtual and real images, right? So we, we've discussed in, in the first two videos real images Okay, when 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 the image formed over on uh, on this side of the mirror, because this image is forming behind the mirror, and the light rays don't actually come from here; they only appear to come from here. This is what we call a virtual image. Okay, so it's important you uh, understand and and know um, these properties of the of the image that's formed here. Thank you for listening.